Good morning, folks. It's 10.49 a.m. on this sixth day, ninth month, 2023. I'm going to have a quick look at your weather, and then I want to have a look at some of the cloud imagery that is, uh, I've been posting on my wall uh, under a Show Me Your Skies. So maybe we can see a correlation um, with some of uh, what you've seen today uh, in your neighborhood or wherever you happen to be at, in the old hood. And... Uh, what's going on from above or as i often would call it an above and below show and so we're going to do today a bit but first i want to have a look at these two storms that have come by right this is the first batch for new zealand look at yourself here whammo they smack right in the kiss are you looking at about a whoa five hours from now a new plymouth gets a big old smack in the kisser right there and it's going to be what we'll call the beginning of this event and this event here is going to last about 36 hours, right in and out to see she'll go. And right behind it here, coming about here, um, you're going to get batch number toll. And this is what's going to be leading to these heavy totals. And on this one here, I get a big concern about the, the way this is going to jut and twist the island in effect here for earthquake risings. And now today you actually had a beam shoot up here, which has caused me to elevate your quake risk uh, over the next 36 hours as you see some wintry pipes there coming coming for you all through through you know arthur's pass and, uh, and all these beautiful uh, areas and those valleys that uh, through here so it's gonna make for some very beautiful imagery to see but be careful about the flash flooding because you're going to see some fairly heavy totals here on the tens and then it looks like you may pressure why you have a dry period coming you know i see this here coming on this batch here Hey, but she's doing the dive down and when I look at all these pressures here it pretty much tells me most of the corridor of bubble up is going to leave you a bit of a dry coming which is nice to see and be able to tell you however I can't say the same here because as the interaction of these is going to pull a little tendril up so probably here coming about uh, the, the 18th or so I'll, I'll probably be warning you about something as you can just see the hemmings up here but there's not enough of it to really react because this is staring down currents. He's taking this more toward this Antarctic corridor down here. The Southlands, if anything. So let's uh, have a quick look now at what's about to uh, impact Australia. And you are about to have a, one of those days. So let me turn some of these things out. Okay, so Esperance is cutting its radar right now and sweeping the camera across like this in a pattern and which is helping it to come in along with a waveform that I, I picked up yesterday as zooming across the bite. And yeah, there's going to be some fairly heavy tendrils uh, inside here that have been split apart. And I said that stays in one spot there. Cam bomb, bomb, ba bomb, 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 and you got a big, big old lightning show too. So watch out if you're out there. You'll be walking around with, uh, with your golf club in your head, you prints, and or otherwise you're going to. And if you film that, you know, I'm going to laugh. It's like that guy it gets hit in the head with the Tesla coil. And make sure the power's down. Psst, right in the head. There you go, there. Have a, have a nice little event. There's a little bit of moisture in the trough. And this cold air's already crept up in the trough, which is going to make these storms much more volatile and tornadic. As in hail, downbursts, uh, damaging winds, and the tornadoes themselves could be sighted. Especially as you go along the coastal areas here where it starts to split up and go out to sea here. It, it won't surprise me to see a bit of water spout action uh, between these islands out here. All the vortices are just right for such an event. And it's going to be quite a weekend night for you there as you go on out and you're trying to do full moon it up. No, you'll be banging the drum to the uh, to the lightning bolt festival there at sunrise and a little more, yeah, going up along the Bruce there. A bit of big of action there and for your morning commutes and just stay most of the day. So your total's right there that day. It's going to be kind of high. And so let's look at what you got on the fives. Well, I can even do you the threes. Da 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 da. Oh, I'm all. It, that seems a little bit less than you should be getting. I was expecting a bit more than this. I was expecting about two to two and a half centimeters along this corridor. So let's just say that I saved that. All right. And then meanwhile, the tendril has been starting to work its way north to do the can can on your ass. And yours is less time than that before it gives a bit of an inundation here over to the never fail of in its fail in air and all these wonderful little uh, towns along the way here. 
Curie Mine Beach, whammo, its sticker has gone away. So you're looking at tens and the fives, pretty much 10 centimeters hitting in that corridor. The airport Douglas area here is getting about six. And then on the tens, they say, we ain't done with you yet. Have another one. Have it, have it, have it, have it, have it. Yeah, yeah, I'm showing you 11 centimeters there. So we're going to be watching this very closely, very, very closely. And remember, what's going over here is rushing over there. Okay, so we'll be watching this very close. Right, and this is on the threes here. It's a pretty eminent front uh, that they're going to front you with. So let's have a quick look at you guys up there and see what the weather plan is. And let's see if the geoengineers have set up the, the conditions for this. And I'll try and get to your guys' uh, pictures uh, that you posted in this show. If not, I'll do it in another one because... Uh, some of the weather conditions in the beams I, I felt uh, were more worth mentioning to you uh, this morning than what I had planned. Or like life itself. Plans we make, life we live. So all this tropical air is coming ashore. All that crap from over here is coming to meet it. All the radar that pinned that and the flaws hemming it up uh, as we've been watching as the week uh, was going on. Let me just zip it across there. See that big line coming ashore there? Boy, that's going to be a rumbler. That's going to be very dramatic to watch. And you people, if you like watching storms, if ACs at that time, you're going to get a show. Yeah, oh, man. So as that tendril works in, look at the V-shape of it. And all that has, the winds is still blowing some of that ashore. And so as it hits that sticky out bit here, Fraser Island, of course, it's a bit of a hook. It's going to drive some of the moisture in. So the beautiful light show is going to go out to see that day. But not, not such a beautiful day for these people here in this trough area here. Toowoomba, Warwick, uh, and Gundy, Windy, Gundy, Windy, Gundy, Windy, Cam the way, Cam the way. Floods away, your floods away. And then the lightning show continues in a sudden downpours and flash floodings are to be expected in the mountainous regions. Watch for slides because of the winds blowing the trees and uh, moving the soils around. And, uh, you know, you'll be safe. By that day there, you're gone, man. Gone, gone, gone. But meanwhile, down south, in the corner, they've been having the Carpentons too, so we'll not leave you at Rattlade, Seduna Port, Lincoln, and all these wonderful places, and the sticky out bits of it all, that are going to catch the Hammonds of the biggest flaws. Wow! Boy, well, she gets ashore, and the lightning kicks her up. Because boy, if they put some cam in the atmosphere over you to make lots of ions in it. Bzzz, the microwave is busy, and the aluminum is busting away. Oh, boy. Energized air coming there, doing the wiper moves with the smacking tins headed toward New Zealand. And they're going to beam it. Bzz, cut it right in half. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting beam set up that does this. Because it's a bit of a stall. Let's just catch up to it. So this circulates into that like a bowling ball hitting a pin. And guess who gets knocked down? Yep, old gutter ball. There it is. Whamma have it the second batch the first one swells the streams and the second one kills the dreams yep it's the nightmare on every street the geoengineering and freddy's got the weather machine and he's funding it and it's not much fun reporting on this every day see you're getting a backslider there coming up coast where the pressures clearly say that had to happen yeah, this is just being pinned there. So everything from up here, all the cam that's here and everything is going to get circulated around, including some of the layers of this cold air. It's going to be worked in pockets in this high to come over there and just really, really fuel some very volatile storms. If tornadic type activity, you will be seeing along the lines. And these rivers here are all rushing to one place, pretty much. Wood burn. Doop. So you'll be a bit of a backup on that stream that day. So watch for your flash floods, uh, please. You know, use great care. Make sure you check local information and don't risk uh, emergency workers' lives because you're a numb nut. Right? You've been well, well warned well in advance. And well, if you don't like hearing it from me, tough shit. At least I warned you. I predicted the Lismar floods so many days in advance. They even gave a countdown. Some of you all remembered it. Nine, eight, seven. Oh. Right. 
that's one thing I wanted to show you. I don't want to have to show you this, but um, if you look over here, there's a spice station called Blenheim. And it has fired all the way up here through the chromatic trench out here into the open water and reverbed against the big side of this underwater uh, mount there. It looks like a pork chop, giant pork chop. So this is Blenheim firing uh, directed energy weapon. It still has some segments of that big beam, but it's a new one. Okay, see this here? That, that's uh, another big beam that has been shot down in this direction to aim the water. But this is the one that's going to kind of hand stuff trying to come over here to, uh, to go just uh, to the east of the Penis Insula over here. And it went right over the top of Auckland. And it really, really vibrated the island bad and increased the earthquake risk even locally through here and in here. I wouldn't be expecting much, but that's... Uh, I would be expecting it today. The waveform is just bouncing back and forth in that cove. And in through here, you're definitely going to quake over the next 24 hours. You could even hit in the fives. I'm not going to be surprised. You're going to pop a volcano off over here doing this shit. But, you know, volcanic gas is just free acid. And they put the energy right into that stream of stuff that's coming here. So all the electrical potential of that wire is now in this big wire of chem. Because chem can act like a big wire. It's full of metals. And the principle is known as ducting. And you can watch this one of course have it nucleated all these condensates all very, very suddenly. So we're going to have a look at some of the beam in action. And I'm going to go over here and show you another thing. Is If you look here at where this beam was fired from that I just showed you, right? Coming out this direction. Look at these straight lines, how it cleared the clouds out for vast distances in a V-shape. Right through here. It came up and it put a square out that you could clearly see that other square here. Right? You see this. You see this here, don't you? And it's up at 500. God, this is as big as I could get it for you. You could see the energized uh, pattern of the, of the devices they use. Yeah, we'll try to get to uh, some of these pictures as well. Just think it's more important that I show you that those are not glitches. They, they're weather manipulating moves to cause flows and outflows and like almost like putting your hand in water. You can change the direction of the flow of water and as deep as you put your hand in the water is as deep as you're going to affect that flow. It's the only way I can kind of try to explain that and that becomes a solid therefore having mechanical advantage of wherever you push at it like a lever arm on a wrench foot-pounds, inch-pounds, nanometers, newtons, start thinking. Newton's apple, let it hit you in the head and drop some sense into it. The gravity is a theory. It has a constant. You get the beak here of the vulture. The butter's the two thing. The butter's the two. The buzzer here is it fried. Look at that bomb right there. With in parentheses, even. Can't bomb in parentheses. They're gonna fuck you ever endlessly. Look at this stuff. To the fry is going on in the chem tendrils going on right here in this picture as we go over here toward Auckland all this has just been sprayed like bugs like bugs that's nightfall but the waveform is pulsating through the top of that cloud see it all rushing out from this heated outflow line and now there'll be another one rushing in that direction yeah Creating the vortices, that'll be where the beam ended and it shoved it out the other direction. See the difference in the flow in that square line? See it right here? See it? Understand it. Whether it's manipulated and all. So these chem bombs descending over you from here. All that. And it's coming over you while you sleep. And you sleep with your window open. Well, this is settling on you. You're breathing it. You're rolling it. It's six, six, six. And they've opened up the book. They like to throw the book at him. It's not a very good book, but they're going to use it that way. Look at the bomb right here. Got the little anus. Sharpening this guy, man. Oh, he's pointing his point like a clock. Boom! God only knows what Davis flavor. Borg cube. What the hell is that? 
One direction, two direction, three direction, four should be the biggest tornado I've ever seen. Yeah, not naturally occurring cloud formations here across the coast. But the best way I'm going to go over these now is I pretty much have shown you that what you can expect over these days here are nice. And I'd like to do the second part of my show a little bit differently. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to come over here. I made a post today. I actually made a couple posts. Another one I'm going to share. So I'm going to refresh my screen here. Uh, somebody was very kind and has made a GoFundMe to help uh, with some of the costs of uh, the trip I'm going to take to come talk to you guys and uh, welcome you to participate. I was very uh, humbled by uh, Leanne's efforts and thank her very much. Don't you got anybody ever give anybody shit for somebody trying to help somebody? And I find out. And thank you very much. It was very kind of you to do that. Okay, so now I'd like to go to do the second part of my show. Where I came on this morning about four hours ago. And I guess you just show me your skies. Okay, so, I was, uh, so I can maybe, uh, we'll see if we can catch your clouds from above. And Chantal, you came in first. Uh, so you get yours done first along the Gold Coast. We got a big square farm here. And the way I like to do these is just save the image and just load it in up what I'm gonna do now so we could do the zoom bits and all these good stuffs and I'm not gonna be stupid and close my screens out like it yeah it's very easy for the show to end suddenly now right if I do something wrong okay so this is what you're gonna get let me make sure I don't go quite over to the corners <laughs> yeah I've ended a few show numb nutting myself as I call it or you even need to look in this hazy mix which you would say oh god look at the microwaves and there is my evidence of microwaving nucleation here I'm evenly spaced lines of it all but if you look in it you'll see like this that dot and with the little lines coming off it like that's flower of death as I call this particular deployment or this one here is it you kept in America as a is shield right the the nucleation of a shock wave that goes out or a percussion ring as it's known i can get into that easily in person with you guys when i talk about stuff is it's it's much easier for you to see with my hands or me to pull up uh, additional videos without even while i'm not streaming and you got a lot of chem bombs up here in this microwave i don't know how you you were feeling or you was agitated or or whatnot or did we did you have much energy and you had as much better shot with this one here okay so i'm gonna go right to it and this shot here i was a like the come on why is it doing this to me right i'm gonna be careful like that bomb right here there's your perfect uh, image of a flower of death. Like if you were sitting on your patio and you see that, boom! Now is it exploding down towards you or up or out straight? I can't quite determine. But when you're in person, you often can. You can see if it's coming towards you. And if you had a little, some kind of a Doppler gauge, you could do a red, uh, blue shift on that and actually tell. Uh, is they, are they bombing it towards you? And you can even look at this here. Like that one that looked like that clock dial. I think I even caught that uh, right over here um, earlier. Uh, I'm not going to use that again. Over Goldie here, area here. I thought I caught this. But the waveform. A lot of that can be driven. It causes a ripple when the sun sets and rises. Going across the world, you'll see uh, waveforms occur. And sometimes I wonder if that's Aether creating a new day and writing one back in time. That's it, it's done. I wonder sometimes. Right, look right here. See? A lot of you probably got pictures of this. Oh, am I looking at the wrong area? Either way, this is serious Kanban right here. Boom! The knuckles nucleus. Maybe about that time. The swastika appeared. Schwab sticker for the man who thinks you should not own so much. He wants to touch. All right, we're gonna go down Grafton. Yeah, it's a pretty good shot you got there, Adam. I might not have to. I'll do the zoom bit on you, though. Why not? Now, if I don't have time to get to everybody, 
Thank you for caring enough to participate. It just looks weird. Why? Oh, because you did it on that. You were in a portrait mode, a landscape. That one's in front of that one blowing up. You see how fresh and white that is? There's darkness of many cloud layers and not letting as much light to, or maybe the light's shining from that direction. And this cloud's blocking some of it in the top of that one. You got a lot of light games in here. You can just one little clear spot, and all you see is the freaking goddamn flower of death being blown up in it. Right in here, causing the percussion ring, and another one coming out from this side towards it on a different layer of the atmosphere. Did you have any sudden storms around here today, my friend? The square that looks. I know I'm zoomed down to the actual pixels where it almost looks like the cookie monster or maybe it's Gonzo eh, for the Gans Gong Show. And look at it when the sunlight's shining through this one gap right here. These tendrils in a blockage of heavier thickness of, of condensates, you know, more cloud. This one going underneath that high deck of crap is another low deck of crap. You make the high crap and now make the low crap and they'll all eat crap because of the... Look at this here. Look at like the angel of death sitting here on the edge of it. What in the hell is that? It's a very dramatic picture you took. You can even see some of the Kembo and from the thin layers of ice uh, refracting the light. Chemical bows. What a shame. Thank you very much for, uh, for participating in, in that particular picture. And yeah, let's see if we can do this successfully without closing out the view. Yes! Oh, I've got the live video over here. It should be safe. And if you would like to participate in, in this, I think uh, a link can absolutely be provided if I haven't. Oh, I've already done that. I'm not very good at self-promotion. People say, why don't you do that later on? A Lauren, a Decker, you have probably the image of the day. I made, I was making sure I was uh, going to show this one. Man, this one here is is the guilt written all over the face of Mother Earth. You've got chem going all the way into the distance. It's, have you had a fire going on or a dust storm? Very high up cloud lit by sunset without being blocked by that one. This one's got a lot of cloud in front of it with chem bomb absolutely dripping off the top of it. This one headbutting that one. How many directions of the wind on the edge of this cloud? Curling that way and that way. So you got multi vortices going on. So, or more than one thing deploying. That's an absolute boom, 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 boom. It tends right in front of the sun. Or maybe that's Horus and you're doing an Egyptian honoring over the top of you. And maybe you're the sacrifice. We've got Kim Bomb right here in the front. It's as obvious as you can get. And anybody that don't believe this last that they, she got chemically attacked today, you owe her an apology. You absolutely have. It takes chemicals to do this. I keep showing you the documents. Even maybe if this camera video ain't showing them as clear as they should, but if you Google what I told you to, you'll find it yourself. Boom, 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 boom with a center point. And it's not like she took this with super duper light. Just trying to get this picture. Look at the straight line shadow created when the sun hit the side of this and made a shadow on that edge. And then look at the higher up right in the corner. You just see the creeping bomb. They have got so many layers that came here. It's harder to know where to stop. Now this is not my definition of a beautiful sunset. This is what it looks like when a gas chamber comes to you. Do it careful. Carefully proceeds to the next one. That poor tree. You know, scorched by us with a chemical burn. Doesn't even get the sunlight to, to eat. How dare we? Yours is been hard for me to choose which one to use if you're a Sally. Because you did post a whole bunch of them. So since I'm doing zoom bits, I'm going to pass today. Uh, isn't that cute? On a big zooming up of yours. You know, you do get the chem bomb showing here and this one here and this back here. It's like a line or something came along. Bzzz. Your pole is that in a rag. But it's hard for me to do the stop and go bit. That, so please next time just do a picture. I think you did a little a little earlier. Sally Creek. 
you had some really good sheds. I think this was the money shed. Yeah, you got a lot of microwave pulsation in. Um, chemical catalysts have been added to yours. There's good evidence of it here. You see all that interference pattern? Bzz, bzz, bzz. But look right in the center here of the, of the deployments here. So you got a strato cruiser up here deploying. See a square? And they can have perturbances in them. They have microwave emitters or something to control themselves. And this perturbation was part of the Project Loon experiment as well. Oh, I said a class is coming, you're by town. <laughs> Look at this crap here. Bill Gates logo in the sky here, 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 here. Hey, where exactly was this? Um, Gypsland. No, I'm not exactly, Victoria. Let's see if we can see a, what's going on over a bit here. The total frying ice. This, oh, frying isis. Yeah, they would. They'd fry Jesus if Jesus came back. You've also got a fantastic example on here of waveforms coming from here that shouldn't. Like, if it's coming down this far, like, these nucleations, like, from this here, can naturally occur. And when the wind is just right and you put chemicals over the top, the waveform from the island can do that. Um, it could have done it here into this direction. But when it shot it south of the island like this, I got to say one thing when I see this picture. Bzzz, bzzz, getting fried, getting fried. Tigers fired. And that's tiger fire in here. Uh, pinning this flow down here and energizing the chemicals here, giving a push to the emphasis just to the bottom part of this at just the right angle. They've shut the flow off through the straight with the microwaves coming from out of here. It bzz but that particular flow is possible for that to occur naturally. Just that one V, but not that one, that one, that one, that one, or uh, that one. And I just wanted to show that. So let's see if we could catch your. Uh, Gypsland. I'm not exactly sure where that is. Gypsland Victoria. I'm going gypsy furniture. Oh, come on. Gypsland region. You just show me the map. Okay, I know where to go. Yeah, got gotcha. you. Right down here. So, did you get bombed today? Bomb, 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 they can bomb, 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 and I look one here, and I look one there, and even one in your underwear, it's hanging on the line, you're itching time, cam bombs were there, nanofibers in your skin, boom, 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 microwaving on your skin, ouch, it freaking burns. Boom, 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 plum, plum, plum. Uncle Scam's coming for you, a scam damage for your ass. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 only you I can lock yourself down. Keep your mask to yourself. You look at this square right here at the end. Boom! Now you don't see it. Now you do it. When you breathe the air, you're getting screwed. You know, I haven't even had a look over here today. A asshole worldview yet. And if I don't go into back to any more pictures right now, my voice is starting to go away. And I did want to have a peek at it before I... Before I went. Hey, so we'll go to you chips land first. And we got a bit of the uh, the uh, the if we could fry Kimi on down here. Right is I guess it was a itty bitty titty committee when you were once hanging out. But we got the Falcon or the Star Wars day down here. I just can't tell. All I know is uh, if you made a solid one of those that would be a frequency generating resonator. Ooh, what did he just say? Yeah, you know what I said. Bzzz, NASA accidentally shows uh, geoengineering manipulation of the atmosphere here. You got more squares than the heads of the people wearing masks by themselves in cars. Block his. Rudolph the fright nose reindeer. Bzzz, bzz, 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 bzz. What a rack. What a racket they got going on. And here's that more evidence of the, uh, the microwaving from the uh, Tiger Station down here. And so we've had quite a, a day of active usage of missile defense systems, but, but they're using them as weather warfare against people. And you know, directed energy weapons against the peaceful populations to uh, do so many reasons why is 
as many reasons as there are of greedy people. All I know is they don't care about all life underneath this, or, or they wouldn't do it. I'd love to have the pH checked on this rain. Simple litmus paper doesn't. It's not too hard to do. It's a skeleton head. <laughs> and they broke its neck. Oh, ooh, and it huffed and it puffed and a major weather blow. Geoengineering sucks. Look at a kiwi snorting a line there, man. Hachoo! Look at that crap, man. These are bombs. Bomb deployments. The flower of death. The microwave you wouldn't want to stand in front of. The explosion with the rippling rings like it drew a pebble in a pond. Right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Chemtrails. That's a chemtrail. Chemical catalyst leaving a trail of cloud of some kind. Is that smoke or is it just water? Would you want to drink a glass of that condensated? I think I would pass. I'd want to have it under my microscope first, you know. Oh, let's just chem bam the one place that was going to get some sunshine. Some people might have said, I need some sunshine. I better go there. And it chem bammed its lake. Oh, I'm getting upset. I'm going to have to stop some. Right, rain it in, rain it in. It's just so horrendous, uh, Jody, your sky. It's got me upset. Okay, so I'm going to move on. And again, over here, Frankston. Look at this here. It's like Franks and beans. It's very disheartening. You ain't hiding your lies up in my skies. You ain't disguising your lies. You ain't getting away with your lies. My daddy said being a liar was a bad thing. You should look somebody in the eyes when you're talking to them. Well, they can't look us in the eyes. They're lying to us, and they're poison in our sky. Look at this obvious deployment, like, like a nerd's bow tie. Well, you know, we will make neckties like that, or we can make neckties like this. And they're we're getting strangled. What a fucking shame. Watching my friends being killed. And trees die, listening to forests grow quiet. When all you hear is your old footsteps in the forest, you know there's something bad is going on. When you get up in the morning and you sit in your porch and you don't hear no little birds, you know something's gone on. Look at all the little barns. That's like the daytime firework deployment I showed you guys um, a couple of days ago. Look at this. This is like flack. You were flying over for a defense system. Look at this cluster here. Hey, can you get any more IVs? You guys see it yet? He's like a splatter of shit. Exactly, Sarah Adams. Flower dick, flower dick, boom, 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 plumes. This one looking like a dick. We'll call that one the Higgins cloud here, right here at the edge. The homework stealer. The Big Dipper is a chem bomb. He ain't naturally occurred. A cumulus clouds of whipped spinets that would f form naturally and then just go straight away. This is an entire sky littered with agendas. Littered with taxes of undisclosed nature funded by philanthropists and her whore and our mother. Man, this is just bad. Very, very, very bad. It was bad. It was upsetting. This is upsetting to see. Some heavy totals coming, folks. I'll give you a, a bigger weather update uh, in the next 24 hours. I'm really hungry. I think I should eat some. All right, big love, people. Stay safe. Thank you very much for participating. Together is when we must say no more. No more. We are not the system's heart. Big love. Stay safe. Peace.